Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and it's it is a vector file, but he had trouble taking it apart and ungrouping it. And if you if you look, if you select it and go up to object and group, you can't do it. But right here is the key: break curve apart. Turns it all black. But we can left click, right click, and he told me that he was going to cut it out, and he was concerned about the outer ring is not perfect if we look at it you can see it's not smooth the, and then he said the inner ring but then there's also this part so i thought i'd show him how to do it it's huge so i'm going to set my nudge factor on 25 inches and i am going to take that line and sometime my number lock isn't locked and we're going to take that out of ring and nudge it out of the way. And you can see all the nodes. So it's basically 23.65. So we're just going to make it ellipse. Holding down the control button. And we're going to make it 23.65. And with our ratio locked, it's going to make an even circle. We'll go ahead and make it red. And then we'll hit P and put it in the center of the page. And the other part isn't in the center of the page yet, so we're going to deal with that in a second. We'll get rid of this ring. And then he was saying the outer ring, or the inner ring, isn't perfect. So we're going to deal with that, but I'm, on this video, I'm going to show you how you could do this. These are uh, pretty bad and pixelized. So what we're going to do now, we're going to control G and group this together, and then we're going to hit P. And then we'll just see when we hit P here, and we're good to go. So if we move this line in and hit P, whoop, let me back up here. We have to group these together, Control G, and then hit P, and you can see what it's doing. But they need quite a bit of work in themselves. So let's look at, let's get the virtual or the parallel dimension tool and just kind of see how big this line is. And it is uh, 1.14. So the, the way we're going to do that, I am going to take a rectangle. Several ways you could do this. I'm going to take a rectangle and make a box about the size of the gap. It is, we're going to make it 1.3. And then we're going to control D and make a duplicate of that. Control D and make a duplicate of that. Holding down the control button so it'll be perpendicular to the other one. And we're good to go. Now let's get this line out of the way. And it is 22.95. So we're going to make another ellipse and make it 22.95. Hit enter. And we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. That looks a little bit big. Let's make it 22.9. Now go to your pen tool and let's go to inches and let's put in 0.14. So now we've got a 0.14 line. I want it to be red. So I'm going to make it red. I am going to go to object. And can and turn the outline or turn the outline into an object. Now I should be able to take my virtual segment delete key and delete this part. Whoop. So that didn't work. Tell you what, let's do it before we turn it into an object. Let's see if we can't cut it. And we can. So we need to remember that you need to turn it into an object after you do this. Now we can get rid of our two rectangles. And now we can take this line. Let's nudge it out of the way for a second. And we're going to need to break the curve apart so we have two different lines. Now, if we take this line and we're going to make it uh, end caps, we're going to make round end caps. Let's see if that worked. And you can see it did. And then we're going to take this line, double click on it, and make it round end caps. 
Then we're actually gonna go to, we can actually select both of them, go to object, turn the outline into an object, and we're gonna left click, right click, and now we have two cut lines that are symmetrical and uh, have round end caps. So we're gonna control G and then hit P, put it in the center of the page. And we've done that part, and that looks good. I'm gonna, uh, I'm trying to keep my videos from being so long. So I'm gonna stop the right now, so pay, uh, stay tuned for part two. And we're gonna clean up this other inside circle, what he's calling, and see if we can't make that better. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.